When the governor is about to be injected, and it is done. COVID-19 vaccination in Nigeria, especially Lagos State, is an ongoing immunization campaign against severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus. As a forward-looking government who takes the elder living of its citizens seriously, the Lagos State government through the Ministry of Health in response to this call that ravaged the world with Lagos states being the epic center of the virus since its outbreak in Nigeria in 2020. What we're doing in Lagos and Nigeria is to buy time. And we're buying time by limiting the opportunity of this virus at this point in time when we have the upper edge and we have the advantage to slow down the establishment of the virus in our community as we now uh, uh, deploy resources into community such that whatever policy we adopt when and if it establishes itself, we've ramped up our capacity to, to deal with severe cases and we've educated the community. We're hoping that we can stop its transmission and interrupt its establishment in our community. But if it does establish itself, we want to slow down that process so that we can ramp up our resources and increase the awareness in public and limit the impact it will have when it does establish itself. So we're hitting it hard early on. And we have the time, the resources, and the opportunity to do that so that we can slow down its process. And that's the strategy that we're using in Lagos and in Nigeria. The Ministry of Health engaged the civil society group known as Center for 21st Century Issues, an NGO to respond swiftly to emerging issues in the 21st century as a tool to spread the campaign against the Ibele divisions of legal states, which are Ikorodu, Badagri, Ibejoleki, Lagos Island and Ekpe, which covers the 20 local government area of the state. Communication plays essential roles in coexistence of human race as the need to take the vaccination campaign across the shores of legal states. Center for 21st Century Issues is a non-governmental agency who prides itself in providing solutions to ravaging issues in 21st century. For the COVID-19 vaccination process, it became expedient to engage private health facilities to provide privacy for individuals who would not want to be treated in a public facility or other personal reasons which calls for choices of preferred health sector to use for the job. The director of the Center for 21st Century Issues, Mrs. Titi Lope Ngozi Akosa, further portrays on the NGO's involvement during the process. Yeah, my name is Titi Lokman Ngozi Akosa. I'm the Executive Director of Center for 21st Century Issues. It's a non-governmental organization based in Lagos, uh, Nigeria. Our organization has been working with the Lagos State Primary Health Care Board, the Lagos State Ministry of Health, and the Coalition on COVID-19 in Lagos State to monitor COVID vaccination in Lagos State. And what we do basically is to ensure that all the non-pharmaceutical interventions are adhered to at the vaccination centers. We also monitor whether pre- and post-vaccination briefings are given to vaccinees because this is very important for them because some of them may develop after effects. So people must know whether, of course, that there is an after effect that could happen. Maybe it could be headache. It could be swelling of where they had the injection and so many other things that could happen to them. So it's also very important for those who want to be vaccinated are well aware that such a thing could happen so and they could be ready for it. And it's also important that they are told that after vaccination, they will have to wait for another 15 minutes to see whether those effects will manifest. Of course, when you get back home also, those effects may manifest. It may not manifest at the center so there is a phone number that is written on the vaccination card that uh, vaccinees can call anytime they have any after effect or any challenges relating to vaccination 
So these are very important issues that we monitor. I want to ensure that Lagos State is doing what it's supposed to do, ensure that the vaccination centers are okay for people to go in and get their vaccination and go out so that it's not a place that is very crowded where people who are trying to stop the spread of COVID they are not even uh, confronting a situation whereby they will have infection at the centers. So these are some of the important things that we've been monitoring and we've been escalating some of the findings on the ground to the government and government also have also been responding to some of the issues we have brought before them and we also give them recommendations on how to resolve some challenges on the ground which has been very very important for this our work and government have been very very responsive and that's why till today we are still able to monitor the vaccination we have helped them to monitor first phase second phase right now we are on the third phase and this third phase is so different because we're having the private sector coming private hospitals too have been accredited to give vaccinations to negotiations at a, at a price which is uh, for logistics basically yeah yeah well, service charge so these are some of the things we've been monitoring to ensure that even those who are paying for service charge are getting the right services and that they are satisfied with the services and most importantly raising awareness and ensuring that a lot of people come out to get vaccinated because so right now we are seeing a lot of uh, vaccine exigency it's like there is covid fatigue people are tired in a way about covid and people want to move on with their lives but nevertheless it's also very important that we ensure that every person in lagos is vaccinated so that uh, we can cope the spread and ensure that all the different mutants that are coming in are also not spreading to our people so vaccination is really really very important right now so that even if we are not seeing a whole lot of positive cases this is the time for us to build our herd immunity get all our people vaccinated so that even if there's any of the new variants that are coming in we'll be able to cope the spread some of the center for 21st century issues monitoring team who were on the field also gave their feedback on private facilities involvement in the process let's hear what they have to say my name is annie d king i'm one of the field officers for century 21 monitoring the private facilities for the COVID-19 vaccine administration. Because this pandemic came as a rush to everywhere, all over the world, it came as a rush. It came as a surprise to so many all around the world. We are all privy to the news everywhere. It's been an interesting exercise. The main reason why I got involved was actually to see on ground what was happening. I didn't want to be just a recipient of what government, an intervention for the COVID-19. I wanted to participate in something that actually adds value to what was going on around the world. And I am grateful to Century 21 for giving me that opportunity and Lagos State for trusting us to give us that opportunity to go into the private sector and see how they were administering it. The administration of the vaccine in the private sector was actually very detailed. People were cared for kindly. People were, questions were answered. People had questions, they had misgivings, and every question was answered. Everybody was treated with kindness. Everybody was treated with professional decorum. Even in the public sector, one would have expected people shouting and raging. There was no rage, there was no shouting. The nurses, the doctors, they were kind, and they encouraged people. If people had questions, they took them away and answered their questions, they answered their concerns. And they asked people to also wait so they can see how the effect of the uh, of the vaccine is on them it's a it has been a very kind exercise it's been very thoughtful it's been very thorough and every one has worked professionally i thank lagos state government and i thank century 21 for giving us this opportunity to be of service as people as nigerians let's yield ourselves positively to some of these interventions yes there's a lot of noise outside of things that don't go right but this is something that is working well when we apply ourselves positively everything else will work well the washing of our hands the, the the care in our hygiene let us still keep doing them because just like cold flu did not go away completely from the world and we also avoid those people who have cough or catastrophe so that you don't catch it 
the same thing with the effects of the COVID-19. So please, ladies and gentlemen, Nigerians, Lagosians, everyone, let us still keep to the rules of our hygiene. Let us still keep to the distancing when somebody has a cold. Let those who are in hybrid areas, please, if there is a if there is a hospital, if there is a clinic around you that is administering the vaccine, uh, visit them and do the necessary. It's healthy for each and every one of us. At the end of the day, we will all be better for it. We will all be more joyous for it. And we will not have to go through those things that we don't need to go through when things are done by force. Kuforiji, I'm one of the field officer uh, for the COVID-19 exercise and I monitor the private facility. Uh, during the monitoring exercise, uh, I was able to you know, see some of the recipients. They came in and uh, some of them came in to uh, do their, perform their own exercise to take their COVID-19 vaccine. But most of them were registered online. And, uh, and they came in for the dose. So some came in for the first dose, while some came for the second dose. During the process, uh, COVID-19 protocols was observed. The IE kits were properly stored, and uh, the officer in charge were attended to the uh, recipient very well. But I found out that the, the turnout was very low because I don't know, maybe because it's a private uh, facilities. And, um, Another thing I observed is that uh, uh, the, the officer in charge were just uh, I mean, doing one-on-one -on -one, uh, you know, uh, information, giving information one-on-one -on -one to them, not general information because of the low turnout. So uh, that's uh, one of my, that's some of the observations I have. The challenges is that uh, they are, you can't take pictures and uh, they may because they're private, so you need to take permission from the management before you can do anything, but I came with a letter to submit to the to the management to inform them of my mission here. Yeah. Facility has adequate staff to take care of them, and they were able to respond to them uh, promptly. So they didn't waste their time. They came in, do the normal process, ask them to wait for after they taking the job for 15 minutes, and uh, they were all happy at the end of the day. And the process was very successful and uh, people were happy to receive their job. Center for 21st Century were able to uh, uh, assist during the uh, COVID-19 uh, exercise. Uh, like the field officer, like me, the field officers were, 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 were visit the private and the public uh, facility. We did not even inform them that we were coming and uh, we were able to monitor the exercise as a civil society. And uh, the exercise was very successful and the Center for 21st Century, they really did a uh, good work because uh, with the back end, uh, Ms. Sikti Akosa, she was able to respond promptly to anybody, the, any of the officers that have issues and uh, timely response from her. And uh, the office was uh, able to give a good uh, back work from their own end. We we'll advise all Lagosians to come and receive their vaccines and to keep safe and uh, observe COVID-19 protocol. Interestingly, the tall now shows the message is the grassroots and few of the many private health facilities spoke on their experiences during the process. Let's hear what some of the health care providers who participated in the vaccination have to say. If you can get a vaccine or rather a COVID vaccine free in the local government, why do I have to pay 6000 naira to get it in a road and don't forget that most of these people coming for this vaccine, some of them, they are not that buoyant. I will not how the economy is now. So they will tell themselves, I, I don't mind going to the local government to queue and have it done when I don't have 6,000 naira to pay. So we have had a lot of clients come in here interested in taking the vaccine. So because they don't have their money to pay, they have to go back. And we can't stop there because we have been told they must have to make the payment online before we can vaccinate. We also spoke with few respondents who felt cool to share the thoughts and ideas with us. And my advice to people out there that they should come and take their own vaccine because they said prevention is better than cure. The safety of our community is a collective responsibility and taking your job of COVID-19 vaccine shows you love your community just as you love yourself. 
Take steps now.